Good day, everybody. It is currently the 8th of September, 2014, doing this update right around 06 Universal Time, uh, about 4 p.m., the 3 to 4 p.m. Japan Standard Time. What you are looking at is the latest satellite imagery of severe tropical storm function, but for all intents and purposes, this is a typhoon at this point. We are seeing really those high cloud taps wrapping around this storm system, and it does look like an eye really developing right in that center of circulation. Now, is it a I or is it just drier inflow wrapping into the storm? I think at this point, it's more of an eye really developing with an eye wall setting up around that center of circulation. So by the next several updates, if JMA does not upgrade this to a typhoon, I actually would be rather surprised. I'm anticipating at the 09 UTC update for the Joint Typhoon Warning Center to update grade theirs to a typhoon. They're usually a little more aggressive with the intensity as far as forecasting these storms go. Regardless of the intensity of this, the outcome will be the same though. We're still looking at some gusty winds and some heavy rainfall, specifically for the Ogasara and Izu Islands. That's these islands out here, just south of Tokyo. They're actually part of Tokyo Prefecture, believe it or not, but they're south of Tokyo. And uh, about 25,000 people live out here. Really on these islands, expecting typhoon strength winds, at least gusting that high. JMA put out that they're expecting gusts upwards and over 126 kilometers per hour. Uh, rainfall around 170 millimeters in total as this pushes by and off there towards the north. For coastal areas though, and we're talking about Chiba Prefecture, Kanagawa Prefecture, and in the U.S. military actually out here in the Yakuska area as well, um, you're going to be seeing some gusty winds as we go ahead by Monday night into Tuesday morning, but it's not going to be anything that causes any damage nothing really to worry about you can see here on our winds map the worst of this stays offshore impacting these outer islands but the mainland areas really miss out on this now Chiba prefecture I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some gusts upwards about 35 to 45 knots uh, farther inland Tokyo I don't really expect much to come out of this we're actually been seeing light rain showers here on your um, Monday and that's really gonna be the worst of this is just the outflow associated with the stationary boundary off towards the north and as this does continue to track northeast and it becomes a typhoon it's actually gonna lose its extra or its tropical characteristics and become more extra tropical and you can see it right here as well you have your low pressure center but look at these winds veering right here that's a warm front setting up and they start to back down towards the south so there's your cold front really setting up and stretching down towards the south so this is starting to get more frontal uh, areas associated with it and what that means it's beginning its extra tropical transition we can even zoom back the picture and take a look at where our storm system is right here now remember this is the surface level winds but I'm gonna push this up to about 15 to 20,000 feet let it load up really quick here for you and you can see our little dip in the jet stream actually you got some troughing right there jet max really pushing right over this low pressure area so as we look ahead by Tuesday afternoon and the evening this even has the upper level support and that is one reason why we have all that shear pushing all the cloud cover farther off towards the east because the upper level winds definitely supporting that and that it could even support this storm to track into a northeasterly track becoming extra tropical and even getting absorbed up with the Aleutian low farther off there towards the northeast now let's look farther towards the south because what we have going on we have our tropical depression which uh, made landfall actually already there in Hainan and southern Guangdong. It's over here towards the west. It was deemed 14W by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. You can see that here. Uh, was actually carding via Bacasa. Even caused some uh, severe flooding out here into northern Hainan. I actually uh, posted some images on the website here. The flooding that took place. And if you go to the website, you can actually check this out. Uh, they did see some serious flooding in Hainan, southern Guangdong. The good news is that the worst of it seems to be over with. Uh, it's really going to be tapering off as the storm system pushes off there towards the northwest but still the china meteorological agency uh, is expecting some areas as much as 150 to 200 millimeters still could occur so flooding is still a potential you think that's it for the tropics we have our severe tropical storm our weak tropical depression you may be wrong because the philippines you've also been getting hit by the habaga um it's just been coming down 
down out there. Some heavy rainfall associated with the southwest monsoon. Also a low pressure area pushing overhead. And that could even move into the South China Sea and become a tropical low and potentially tropical depression later on this week. So it's something we're continuing to watch. And then back towards the east, another low is potentially developing uh, on the tail of all these other storm systems. It really shows just the month of August was so quiet, but uh, now we have, well, at least three areas watching at this time. And then a long range, we have another low developing back there towards the east. So September seems much more active. And it, it, it does seem like we're going to have a higher threat of storm systems. But at least at this time, most of these aren't getting that strong or they're staying out to sea. For example, this one way here towards the east, long range model is really just going to wrap this around the west pack high and pull it off towards the north. So not expecting too much uh, happening with that. But that's going to be now uh, all, all for now. Can't talk today. Questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them down there in the comment box below. As always, though, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there, guys. Bye.